and we're back with some more vampire survivors. And uh, I believe in the last episode, I, I may not have been uh, entirely accurate with some of the advice I gave people on how to play the game. So I thought it'd be a little bit more uh, clear this time around. Also, maybe correct some mistakes. When it comes to the game, you basically have to kill stuff to get these level up opportunities. So normally what you want to do is get a good level up weapon. In this case, we're using the guy with the garlic breath. Garlic breath just sort of works. Ooh, we you your knife? We are right now trying to open up the game, so what I'm trying to do is max out all the stuff that we haven't maxed out yet. So for example, we have not maxed out the knife in any particular run, so I want to try and max out the knife in this run. But the knife is, well, it's not really that great at killing things. Like, it fires a bunch, but trying to actually hit things with it requires a bunch of skill, practice, and things like that. Whereas Garlic Breath, you just sort of run into things and they die. And you're limited in how long these bats are going to stick around for. They will be replaced by tougher enemies that may be harder to kill. So early on, you really want to kill stuff as quick as you can and level up as fast as you can. Looking through here, the only thing we haven't leveled up is Fire Wand. Now, I've just basically got a list of the things we haven't maxed out, and what we're trying to do is unlock everything. So to unlock everything, we need to max out... Well, we've maxed out Rune Tracer, we've maxed out Wand and got the revolved versions. We've never got the maxed out versions of Fire Wand. Whether or not we make it that far is another thing, of course. Uh, yeah, great. Fireballs. But you'll notice that those fireballs are not nearly as efficient as... Well, the Garlic Breath. The Garlic Breath, you just run into things, they die. However, later on, Garlic Breath will not have the same damage and stopping potential, so you have to have other weapons that you line up. Like, say, the Fireballs. They're actually quite good late game. Same with the Axe. Axe is great late game. Problem is, early game, those things are not great for farming. And what you really want to do early on is farm as much as you possibly can. You're working against the clock. This game gets harder and harder the more time expires. Just no matter how many enemies you kill. Well, almost on that front. Yeah, let's get the cross as well. I I said the cross was bad before, and uh, people got very angry about that. Uh, let me show you the cross. See those things that are flying about the place randomly? That's the cross. Now, early on, this is not very useful for killing things. Well, not nearly as useful as just garlicking things by running into them. But later on, that thing is absolutely monstrous. It's just, uh, really depends on what point of the game you're at that it, uh, its usefulness occurs. Right here, we have access to spinach. Spinach pairs up with Fire Wand to give us an evolution, so we're going to grab Spinach now. And this was another thing people pointed out. When it comes to collecting things, what I normally like to do is I would really love to pump garlic up three or four levels, if at all possible. So I try to minimize the amount of weapons I have at the start. I've been advised you're better off to, well, basically fill out your loadout. You can only have a maximum of six weapons and six sides. But what happens if something presents you with... Uh, what happens if you get presented with a screen that doesn't have anything you want on it? Then you're forced to pick something you don't want. So the advice is, if an option comes up for something you're going to want later on the road, just grab it immediately then and there. It really depends what way you want to play it, but that seems to be much better the later on in the game you get. Or, well, sorry, that's the wrong thing. There is extra bonuses you can get in this game by spending gold that allow you to do better in levels. So once you've maxed all of those things out, I think it's an awful lot better to max out this because you'll have the ability to carry yourself through. Ooh. Should we grab Whip? We've never got the evolved version of the Whip, and I did say I didn't like Whip, and people did get a bit annoyed about that one too. So why not? We'll, we'll grab the Whip. God, we have so many random weapons going on. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do here is try and survive long enough to get decent enough that we can survive all the bat waves that come at us. I was really hoping to get a few levels into garlic, so that when these bats showed up, we would have a chance to farm them for enormous amounts of resources. But... Ooh. Ooh, there's some more garlic. Yes, no, I'm taking that now. We need the double garlic. That increases our range and our damage, and it means when those bats show up, we get loads of experience. Very, very, very necessary. Perfect example here. You can see this thing, Pomerolo, whatever. This game was designed by a, an Italian guy, and also he worked on sort of gambling, gambling games before that, which is why this thing has such a good sound. It just, it gets those endorphins running. It's a little bit of an addiction machine. But anyway, you can see this Evo thing here, and you can see the uh, the butt face of Garlic. That means if you have this as a, a support and Garlic as your primary, you can evolve Garlic when it hits level 8. That's just a, a nice little graphical indicator. Normally I just have a sheet beside me and I just like look it up to remember which ones, otherwise I can never freaking remember. Uh, so we will grab this pul Pulmero, whatever it's called, Grand. As you can see, we're pretty much maxing out at a lot of our stuff already. I mean, we've only got one more weapon we can take on, and we've already got two of our sides filled up, and we've only got one weapon to level two. Uh, actually, I think we'll make garlic again. Yeah, that makes it much easier. 
All right, let's skip this forward a bit. I think you get the general gist. One weapon to farm, and then other weapons that you get, because later on they will be really, really good. And then try and maybe fill up enough of your inventory that you're not going to get accidentally stuck taking something you don't want. Later on, you can get bonuses, things that will, um... Oh, allow you to skip or banish weapons so that you don't see them showing up. That way you can maximize your chances of getting the stuff you want and ending up with stupidly overpowered... Pentagram! Okay, we want to grab Pentagram because if we get that up to level 7, it unlocks another character, and we are on the path to unlocking stuff. Downsides of Pentagram. It kills everything on the screen when it activates. Unfortunately, it also destroys all gems. Which is usually bad. Nope, and some of these things are not dying. Bats. So yes, because the game is basically predicated on time, as in it's how long the game goes on for that the different monsters come in, you're sort of encouraged to farm as much as possible. The weapons you get that can allow you to farm the most amount each level is great. But the second thing is, is as you level up, your enemies also level up. As in, if we're at level 50 when enemies show up, they will have a lot of health. If we're at level 100, they'll have a lot more health and damage. So enemies scale with you, and what type of enemies show up also changes with time. So if you get something like Crown, and that's not here. Crown is a support thing that uh, increases the amount of experience you gain, which can be good. It allows you to level up really fast. However, that can also be bad, because it allows you to level up really fast, which means your en enemies get tougher and tougher. Which means at the end of the game, after you've maxed out all your weapons, the enemies will still be getting tougher and tougher, and if you've maxed out your weapons and can't get any tougher, well, you've kind of put yourself in a little bit of a, a disadvantage. And again, it really depends on a lot of the stuff you have unlocked in this game. Alright, let's see here. I think I gotta keep going, Garlic. It's just, uh, it's doing the job so far. And we really do want to farm as much as we possibly can. Hmm, I really would like to get garlic up to level 8, so I think we're just going to keep going that way. Once you max out garlic, it actually has a healing effect as well, which is quite powerful. Uh, yeah, let's just grab this chest now. No point hanging around. If you hit escape the moment it starts up... Ah, done. Oh, great, we pentagrammed again. While some of these things look nice, like a tractor orb may seem fun, you really want to only grab things that pair with your weapons so you can get weapon evolutions. That's... The main thing. Oh, and also I don't want to max out Pentagram anytime soon. I want to leave that until later in the run. So we're just going to grab Knife and we're not going to grab a Tractor Orb. You see, we want to get Garlic maxed out, which we've already got the Palmero, which pairs with that. We want to, well, Fire Wand pairs with Spinach, I believe. That means we need to get repairs with Knife, Cross, Whip, and Pentagram. Which, honestly, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure there is a guide. You know, I was really feeling like this should have something in it, but it doesn't appear to be there. Oh, uh, never mind. Also, there's a chest over here that contains another vampire that we can gain access to, so we should really pop over there at some point. Well, for now, let's just grab as much experience as we can and try and max out garlic. That should make our lives just a little bit easier, at least for this early stages of the game. Ooh. Well, this gets interesting. Uh, we need Clover to pair it up with Cross, and I don't know why it's not telling us we can do that. We need Bracer to pair it up with Knife. Uh, we need Crown to pair it up with Pentagram. And Wings we don't need for anything. I think Crown? Yeah, gains more 8% more experience. That'll allow us to level up faster, which should allow us to get bigger quicker. Oh, there's a boss somewhere. Where's the boss? Boss, where are you? If we could get... Uh, what are we at at Garlic? Oh, uh, no, we need three more levels. I think I'm just going to grab the chest. I was going to try and hold out and maybe wait until we got uh, ready to get an evolution on a weapon, but I don't think we can survive that long. And Pentagram just destroyed the chest. Oh, God, yes. Pentagram is a bit of a problem at times. I think, well, yeah, we're going to try and get Garlic all the way leveled up. It gives us healing and a whole bunch of other stuff, so it's worth it. God, I hate those green things. They just do not die. They have such health. It makes it really hard to farm them for experience. The other zombies are, like, dropping dead, like, easy peasy. But those things are like, no, nope, no, nope, I've decided not to die today. And then they just decide not to. I, they shouldn't be allowed to do that. Right, well, we're not doing enough damage. Uh, cr Clover pairs with Cross, but we're, I don't think we're going to live that long. Hollow Heart augments max health by 20%, and that pairs up with Whip. So we could take both of these, uh, but I think I'll go with Clover. I would like to be luckier. So realistically, we need to get oh, stronger. Stronger would be nicer. All right, spinach increases all of our damage. That's good because, well, we need lots more damage. We seem to... Oh, no. It's the big heavy bats. We, we can't even begin to handle the big heavy bats. Okay, unless pentagram goes off, I suppose. Never mind. Oh, chicken. Perfect. Floor chicken for the win. 
It's amazing when you've got good garlic that those bats become an excellent source of experience. Oh, and now that the green zombies have gone, we're actually pretty decent at killing these ones. As far as I'm aware, Bracer pairs with Knife, so we should probably grab that now. Increases projectile speed by 10%. But yeah, as you can see, we're pretty underpowered on some of our weapons. It's still taking us too long to farm. I do not like this. Eh, maybe we live, maybe we don't. But either way, we at least get some experience out of this. Or some gold as well. Oh, those bats are a problem. We need to make sure we don't get cornered by those bats again. They are incredibly dangerous. Floor chicken. Yeah, I don't see us gaining a lot of experience while there's nothing but these big bats around the place. They are the worst. Well, this isn't good. We need to blast our way out of here real quick or we're going to die. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Floor chicken on the other side for the win. <laughs> Well, that was okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to try and kill this, but I'm pretty sure Pentagram is going to activate at some point and kill that boss, and we're going to lose that in the chest. God, that giant army of bats in the background is hilarious. Ah, uh, grade 11 will cross. That's nice, but what we need is garlic. Uh, garlic goes up a level. If we could get garlic up another level, that would be even better. Oh god. That's a lot of skeletons. Oh great, we destroyed the chest, which is unfortunate. It's fine though. Oh. Come on. Garlic, please save my bacon. Oh. Yeah, just about, just about. Give me another garlic. Garlic level 8, perfect. This should give us the max garlic thingy. Yep. Yeah. What's it called? Soul Eater or something? Ah, Soul Eater. Evolved garlic steals hearts. Power increases with recovering HP. Right. So our garlic breath is now just so toxic it can murder skeletons almost instantly. It's the power of garlic breath. That means we're going to level a lot faster from now on. Clover, 10% chance to get luckier. Why not? Now, what were we missing? Uh, no, we don't need to track to orb. We've got bracer, spinach. Do we have clover yet? Clover, hollow heart. I think we have the hollow heart, do we? Damn it, gotta get the hollow heart. Brand for now. Oh, this is just like experience pinata heaven. Look at this stuff. Uh, no, we got the pull my arrow, but we don't have the hollow heart. Okay, so the only thing we're missing is hollow heart. We can get that hopefully at some point. Actually, it's Hollow Heart on the map. I think that's Hollow Heart, which means if we travel on the map, we can get it. But we're not going to stop farming right now. We're getting so much resources out of this, we cannot stop. Uh, yeah, increase our luck chances some more. Thank you very much. Uh, hollow Heart. There we go. That means we have all of, like, everything can get evolved now. Assuming we can get them to level 8 and find a chest. Oh, great. Werewolves are going to mess up our uh, farming strategy a little bit. They're a bit too tough for our garlic. Seems <laughs> I would have thought werewolves would have a better sense of smell, which means garlic would be more effective on them. Hmm. More you know, I suppose. Okay, all base speeds up by 10%. That's good. Let's try and avoid getting cornered by the werewolves. I think now's the time we start going to the top right. Actually, yeah, top right. Oh, one thing you can do. Uh, what we could have done is not picked up the pulnier, got a different bonus, and then what you can do is once you've maxed out all six of these, you can pick stuff off the ground and add it on top of stuff you already have. So, realistically, we didn't need to get these as secondaries. We could have just walked over there and get them. We're not good enough for that yet, though. I mean, walking all the way there while still leveling up is kind of hard. So, we're just trying to play this safe and level out as best we can. Which reminds me, if we get Pentagram up to level 7... Ooh, excellent. Ghosts. Whoop. Shout for their werewolves. Nope, nope. Getting cornered. Getting cornered by werewolves. Freaking werewolves. Ghosts are fine, it's the werewolves that are messing me up. Uh, experience, yes please. Ooh. 
Yeah, the only reason we're alive is the garlic. That's it. It's actually draining health out of people as well, which has helped keeping us alive just that little bit longer. Oh, that destroyed a whole bunch of gems. Or jewels, whatever you want to call them. Oh, crap. I think we're dead. These guys are too tough. We're not actually doing enough damage to hurt them. Which means we can't really do jack. We basically just have to run away from them. We can't even level up. Because we won't get any gems out of them because we're not doing enough damage to actually kill them. Look at this. These things are just tanking it like bosses. And this is why you need to, well, have other weapons that are lined up as opposed to just the one which is garlic. And this is why I say garlic is a noob trap. You end up in this position here where we've put a lot of resources into garlic and we've also spread out a lot of our um, getting of weapons to the point that we're now sort of trapped. We're going to die because we have not enough damage to kill the enemies that are attacking us. Oh, uh, yep, that's... Yep. Ah. Okay, so that is normally why I focus on getting one or two weapons up really high. Uh, I was really hopeful, though, that with garlic we could have managed better. Just that early one is... That's a pretty tough level to be doing it on. And at least we got one new achievement. For our next bit of fun, we're going to try Porta La Donna. Uh, they've got a permanent plus 30% area and starts with a temporary cooldown bonus. So... Yeah, let's grab him. Uh, do you want to do Dairy Planet or Mad Forest? The thing is, we want to get Mad Forest up to level 25, or 25 minutes in. Once you get to 25 minutes in in the Mad Forest, it unlocks Hyper Mode, which we kind of want. So... yay? Early on, this thing... the lightning ring looks amazing, because it does all of this zappy zap. But that wears off. So, we're just gonna run around as quick as we can, grab everything, and... Ooh. Mostly support weapons. I said let's grab the crown. 8% more experience at the start? Why not? I would really like it if that lightning ring was just a little bit faster, but unfortunately it slows down, I think, once you get your first level, or maybe it's... Who knows? Unfortunately, I was really hoping for upgrades to our current stuff, but it isn't, so we'll grab Fire Wand again. And hopefully we can survive to the end of the game this time around. Well, bugger. Uh, we'll go with Augment's Area of Attack. This it works really well with that Lightning Ring because its Lightning Blasts have an area, so if you could make that area bigger... Well, yeah, why not? Oop. Forgot what I was doing there for a second. Gotta make sure we grab all these gems as quick as we possibly can. Currently we have Fire Wand, which needs spinach, and we also have the Lightning Ring. Lightning Ring requires the Duplicator. Uh, we don't have access to either of those. Bracer works with Knife, but we don't have Knife yet. And Magic Wand we've already maxed out, so we'll just grab Bracer. Uh, yeah, I'm not liking the start of this run too much. It's, it's leveling a little bit too slowly for my liking, but hey, we'll see what we can manage. Hey, Duplicator! Oh, thank god. Uh, duplicator matches up with the Lightning Ring, so Duplicator and Lightning Ring Oh, like, well, this means we should be dropping three lightning blasts now. Nope. So we will have to be avoiding all the bats for now. Oh man, there used to be such great experience pinatas. Oh eh, well, it is what it is. God, what I wouldn't give for more lightning damage right about now. Come on! Okay, fire wand. We just need some sort of damage because we just can't kill these things fast enough. Come on, hit him. Hit him with uh, just fireballs right into the middle of them. Ah, excellent. Lightning ring. Let's go up a level. That should give us faster range or just or faster attack or more attack bolts. I can't remember. You know what? Who cares? Let it go. Lightning ring. It's got to be lightning ring. More lightning. More lightning. Yes, please. I think I'm actually comfortable not picking up the chest just yet. I might wait a little bit. It's unlikely we'll get four levels into the lightning ring, but I'm willing to wait a little while longer. Hmm. More into Fire Wand or Crown? I think Crown. More experience gain. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think we've kind of run out of time on the whole waiting for that chest. I think we're just gonna grab it and be done with it. Whoa! Those lightning blasts though. They are cleaning house around this point. I'll take that now. Thank you very much. Another level to Lightning Ring, up to level 5, base area up by 100%, base damage up by 20. Nice. Empty Tome. Reduces weapon cooldown by 8%. That goes at Magic Wand though, which we've already maxed out. Ugh. You know what, I might just get it. That increased attack speed could be quite handy for us, and it would make it 
well, it would make this weapon an awful lot better. And since Lightning Ring is currently our only major damage dealer, we should probably invest more into it. Like, it clears half the screen every time it fires. Question is, which half of the screen and where are we standing when the monsters are close to us? This is going to get more and more uh, dodgy the longer this goes on. But at least it makes for a fun game. I suppose that's half the point. Ooh, floor chicken. You know, I never thought I'd get to the point where I'd be like, oh, there's a chicken on the floor. Yum! Uh, crown for 8% more experience? I think so. Also, I want to keep an eye out for pentagram if at all possible. How do we only have two weapons so far? This makes absolutely no sense. Uh, duplicator level 2, crown level 4. Oh, I think I gotta go duplicator level 2, fire more projectiles. Makes our lightning better. I think there's too many flowers for us to target, so it's not targeting any of the important stuff. It's just targeting random flowers around the edge, and those flowers will disappear. Ooh, that thing just ate all of the fireballs at once. And why did the fireballs go that direction? Target the guy who's right in front of us. Ooh. Okay. What's our lightning ring on? We need three more levels in lightning ring. I think we're just going to grab that chest. There's no point waiting around. We're not going to be able to survive three levels. Especially with these guys. They are terrible for experience. Hmm. Bracer. Or knife. Well, we haven't maxed out knife yet. Uh. Okay, we'll grab knife. It's just... No, I don't want to actually dilute down our build anymore. We'll just... Lightning ring. Perfect, that is level six. We need two more levels on lightning ring and then we can finally max it out and it gets pretty terrifying at that point. Oh! Did you see all those bats just vanish? It's nice when a lightning strike hits them. Though we need some more mobility because if those bats keep coming, we're going to need the ability to dodge an awful lot better. We're going to just need more damage in general. Those green things, whatever they are, are a pain in the butt to kill. Like, I'm seeing them tanking too many shots. It's a pain in the butt. Alright, let's see if we can grab a level. Crown uh, or Bracer? Space speed up by 10%. Weapons firing 10% faster is always good. XP gain is also good, but I think faster weapon firing speed would be preferable right about now. Hmm. Well, Magic Wand does go with this, and we do need more damage, so... Yeah, I think? Plus Knife goes with Bracer, so we should, could get that either, but I think Magic Wand is better. Oh. Oh, I love it when a Lightning Blast gets the bats. Ah! Run, 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 <laughs> No, no. Stop trying to get so close to me. Back off. Pretty sure there's a... Oh, I thought there's a magnet over there. Never mind. I think I... Oh, yeah, I probably claimed it already. Okay. Lightning ring. Level seven. Yes, please. Oh, what does Clover do with again? I'm pretty sure Clover was important in the last one. That goes with Cross, which we haven't gotten yet. So you know what? Lightning Ring, level 7. Oh, when you get an ability or you collect one from the list, it seems to double fire. Once for the old version and once for the new version, or it resets the firing rate. I'm not sure what it is, but you seem to get a double blast every time. Same happens with Pentagram. All right. We're actually doing... A decent amount of damage and killing things like the, the screen is just covered in these gems. Oh, okay. Should we double down? No, I think I just want to focus on lightning ring. We'll grab knife long term. That matches up with bracer, which we already have. So why not? Oh. Baddies everywhere. Red gem. Maybe there's a decent amount of experience in that. Nope. Never mind. God, lightning ring is absolutely making a horrendous mess of everything. Eight, level eight. All right, level eight lightning ring. Perfect. That means all we need now is a chest. Once we get a chest, we can level this up to max level. And if I recall, it's pretty beastly at that point. Come on. When's the next boss? I think the next boss is at the 10 minute mark. So we'll just have to hold out that long. Actually, there is a silvery bat thing. Maybe that guy's got some... Uh, he drops a chest. I don't think he does, but I'm going to 
pound away at him, just hopefully he gives us one. Oh god, no, it's the tough bats. I hate the tough bats. Bring me back the weak bats. I prefer the weak bats. Yeah, we're just gonna run. Uh, and hopefully find an attractor orb at some point. I mean, things will die eventually to the lightning. It's pretty good at doing a lot of damage. Ooh. Yep, there's a bunch of gems left behind over here. That's perfect. Oh my god, that entire bat swarm just got annihilated there. Oh uh, yeah, here's the boss. Yeah, we're not escaping out of this ring this time, so we gotta make sure we break out of it. Preferably in a place where it does the least amount of damage to us. There you go, perfect. Didn't want to stay in there anyway. Okay, so this guy is basically our best hope at getting uh, a chest, which will allow us to evolve our lightning up to the last level. Uh, he should die eventually. We just gotta hope we don't get annoyed to death by bats in the meantime. The big annoying bats, oh god. He does have those little green minions of his that keep being very tough to die. Just die already! How will you not die? I'm trying to get close to him to hit him with as many fireballs as possible. It doesn't seem to bother him. Oh god. It's the skeleton rush. Do we have enough lightning to deal with this? I don't think we do. Ah! No, no, no. Okay. Where do we go from here then? Well, I suppose we could grab the cross. I mean... Why not? This is all new stuff. None of it's going to power up stuff we've got. Garlic is absolutely useless at this point. So it's either the cross or the whip. Uh, whip goes with Hollow Heart, which we don't have. Cross goes with Clover, which we don't have. You know what? I'll grab the cross. Uh, let's try and stay away from everything. Oh God, there's too much stuff everywhere. Uh, God. Yeah. Whoa. Ugh. Oh man. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. All right, well, get the fire wand up a bit. And I remember having garlic here, and it was like, oh, this is easy peasy. Not having garlic makes this much harder. Well, maxed out garlic, I should say. Well, Clover goes with Cross, so, uh. Might as well! Oh, yes! He's finally died! We get the chest that should max out Lightning Ring. Yeah, whatever it gives us. Now, evolve Lightning Ring. Projectile strike twice. Eh? Uh, do you want to strike? Oh, there we go. Ooh, yes. Much better. Pentagram. We're holding out for Pentagram because it pairs up with Crown. That's what we're doing. Uh, let's start leveling up some weapons here. Yeah, Fire Wand, definitely. Fire Wand, most definitely. Fire Wand, Magic Wand, Cross. Yeah, Fire Wand. Yeah, Fire Wand. Closest. Let's max out Fire Wand. Oh my god, I think we hit a the Mother Load. Magic Wand? Definitely. Yeah, I'm just looking at for pentagram. That's all we want. The only weapon left. Oh, there's a chest down there. If, if if the lightning could blast the people around it, this should max out fire wand, right? What is this? Why did it not max out fire wand? I thought fire wand was at max level. It is. What goes with fire wand? Oh, spinach. God damn it! I never got the spinach. I'm an idiot. Oh well, never mind. Uh, magic wand or cross? Uh, magic wand. Bracer for the increased speed. I really hope we get our hands on pentagram, but I think pentagram is a rare enough spell. Eh, uh, we'll hold that and hope. Hey, floor chicken! Been looking for you for a while. Whoa! Ghosts! Ghosts! No! Uh, do I really have to press a button? Because the moment we go back in, we're probably gonna die. Ah! Ah! Run! 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 Oh god! The lack of directional damage is really hurting us! Ah! Seriously? Seriously, no! This is not the way to go! Lord Chicken! No! <laughs> well, uh, we did get the Evolved Lightning Ring, which is worth an achievement, and we did get the Cleric.
buggery. I think what we need to do is max out this. All of these power-ups are pretty handy. It's just the library, let's say, is a much easier level and you can max out quite quickly and get a lot more money there. So I think we should do the library for a few runs. Once we grind up the library a bit, we should have enough resources to actually max out all of those other stats just from the money we make. And let's just try a new character. Why not? What's their bonus over everyone else? Uh, they have Might. Weapon cooldown is reduced by 5% every 10 levels. Then minus 15%. Okay, fine. Arcat, let's go. Inlaid library, let's do it. Inlaid library is a little bit easier to level up on. And it also starts you with a gem over here. Which immediately allows you to grab a level up. And I think Magic Wand, because it fires at the nearest enemy, is actually... Really handy. Hmm. Pentagram already. Yeah, I gotta take that. There's an extra achievement for getting that up to level 7. It unlocks another character, so... Well, it's not a great spell this early on. I want to grab it now because it seems to be relatively rare to come up. It is unfortunately going to hurt our growth a little bit and has a tendency to destroy chests and other things. Uh, we'll do what we can. Oh, damn it. Uh, do we get spinach? Or do we get... Yeah, we gotta get spinach because it pairs with fire wand. I do like clover, it's just... Uh, uh, fire wand level 2, yes please. God, we are barely killing anything. Uh, magic wand level 2, that gives us a little bit more firepower. It's still not enough. Oh great, lightning ring garlic or level of pentagram. You know what? Pentagram it is. Let's do it. I need to get that to level 7, so it might be a case I'm not really feeling this run. We're sort of, we've already leveled too slowly. I'm pretty sure this is a dead one. So let's just level up Pentagram, maybe, and that way we at least get something out of this. Uh, awkward. Uh, Bible. We need more damage. We need anything. We're literally taking so long to kill anything, it's getting, you know, the monsters are getting bored waiting for us to murder them. Ooh, chest. Eh, yeah, wand upgrade. Anything that gives us more damage right now, I am all for. Uh, knife, I suppose? Ugh, I, I like Santa Water, but we've already leveled that one up. Thing is, we get a money bonus for leveling up some of the other weapons, and it also knocks out an achievement. So we want to try and level up a whole bunch of weapons, but I feel like doing that, I'm probably just setting myself up to die. I should probably get some of the better ones. Ah, who cares? Gotta do it some way. Uh, Pentagram level three. Why not? Kill everything. That cost a chunk of health to get that. I should be more careful. But honestly, I just need more damage. More damage. Hmm. Crown. Excellent. I believe that goes with Pentagram and will also speed us up a little bit. Oh man, I almost kind of want Magic Wand as well, but... The experience gain will help, I suppose, so let's just go for it. But everything else from now on needs to be all damage. It's just our damage is so pathetically low. I think we have to go to whip. Problem is, clock glances. We don't. Ha we haven't actually unlocked the things that pair with that to evolve it. I mean, okay, assuming we live that long. Uh, whip we have. So whip also increases our damage a little bit. So kind of not the worst thing. Hey, are we actually killing these guys? I think we are. We're killing them fast enough too. Uh, I think Magic Wand level 6. Getting Magic Wand up could definitely increase our survivability. Hey, Pantagram didn't kill everything on the map. Or, well, destroy all the gems. It normally does. It must be a percentage thing. Ooh. Fire Wand or the Bible? I think it's gotta be the Bible. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Fire Wand has its uses, it's just, uh, usually much later. Oh, looking around, there's actually one of the books over there. Oh, and there's a Greed Mask over there, and a... Oh, what do you mean call it? A question mark, which means there's probably a vampire. You know what? We're gonna head this direction. We're gonna start fighting our way this direction, slowly but surely. And we're gonna try and secure that Spellbinder book once we've maxed out. We can get a pretty decent run out of this, actually, if we play our cards right. Yeah, that fire wand has not really done us an awful lot of good so far, but yeah, I hold out hope. Someday we'll get it leveled up. Someday we won't just die before we get to the end. Okay, in the library it's actually a lot easier. Right, spinach. More damage, please. We're surviving pretty much okay, and Pentagram has not made our lives a living hell just yet. But give it time. 
Give it time. Uh, definitely... Ooh, hollow heart. Do we need that? Yeah, we definitely need the hollow heart for the whip. Ooh, no. I gotta get magic wand maxed out. I, I need some sort of good high damage spell. And magic wand is the one we've got closest to it. Ah! Magic wand level 7! Oh my god! <laughs> We're barely holding on. This is just so bad. Okay, we don't need to pull Malero thingy. We don't need Clover, so fire wand again. Whoa, oh, that Bible is just coming in clutch right now. Oh, oh, oh. I'm actually leveling up quite nicely. Uh, spinach. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on! Give us another level! Damn it! Okay, Fire Wander Bible. No, I gotta go Bible. Bible's been doing more work for us. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on! What I'm worried about is Pentagram is gonna go off at some point and kill all of those gems. Chest. What are we at? No, nothing. We're one away from Fire Wand. Okay, we just need to get Fire Wand. One more level. If we can get one more level in Fire Wand. Damn it! Uh, Hollow Heart we definitely need for the whip at some point, but more spinach. I don't think we can hold out to get another level on the grounds that Pentagram will probably go off, but I might risk it. If we can hold out another level, get wand up one more level, then we can grab that chest, and that will give us the evolution of the magic wand, or the whatever wand. No, we're out of time. I'm pretty sure Pentagram's going to go off any second, and I just, I can't risk it. I don't want to lose the chest. Uh, well, magic wand level 8. Maybe I should have waited. Ah, never mind. Okay, ooh, ah! Those things are not dying nearly as quickly as they should. That was for the first time I was actually glad Pentagram went off. Oh, this level is messy. These things are tough. And we just can't kill them quite fast enough. Come on, give me some Bible work there. Yeah, that's right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fire wand level six or level five. Great. Please, Bat, would you drop a chest? If you could drop a chest, that would be great. Yes! Wait, what? I have maxed out wand. Oh my god. I didn't get the empty tome. Well, yep. That was dumb. God, I'm feeling kind of stupid right now. Oh well. Just gotta keep going. Oof, now this is the problem. We have to take one of these and they're all new. It's gotta be Hollow Heart. We, that actually pairs up with Wit, so why not? In fact, we should probably try maxing out the last two segments. We're gonna need them. Uh, you guys, come up. Please all die. Give me your experience. Ah, uh, Pentagram, your timing is excellent. I hate that spell. The only reason I'm grabbing it is because we need it for uh, an achievement. That is it. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother getting it. Okay, Empty Tome is what we need for Magic Wand, but we can find that on this level, so we don't want it. Um, we do want Candlebar. What do we actually want? We want Spellbinder and Empty Tome to finish off, but Empty Tome we can find, so let's grab something extra. Let's grab Candelabrador. This thing will give us more range or more reach. Then all we have to do is hold out for Spellbinder. If we can get Spellbinder, then we're sorted. Hey, Spellbinder. Uh, the reason we need Spellbinder is that goes with the King's Bible. Perfect. That means we now need to start going left and get that book that's over there. While also collecting as many gems as we possibly can along the way. Ah, oh, Pentagram, why do you... Oh, there's a box back there. One second. What are we looking like? Well, we need one more level in Fire Wand, uh, and a more levels and everything else. 
Let's see if we can't get a fire wand before we crack open this thing. No, we can't get a fire wand, damn it. Okay, well, we'll put King's Bible up a level. Oh. Boss. Uh, Spellbinder. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's try and kill this boss super quick. Ah, uh, damn it. I was hoping to max out fire wand there. Never mind. Okay, we'll go with... Yep, yeah, you know, we'll start maxing out knife while we're here. Grab ourselves a quick chest. We haven't got a single double... Uh, single triple chest at all yet. I, I'm kind of depressed by that. Seriously? Feels like the game's just not... Just being mean. Ah, oh, great. There's fire wand. Uh, okay, we've got Bible or whip Bible. Yeah, gotta be. All right, so all we need is another chest, and we can max out at least one thing. Ooh. And how far are we away from these? Yet yeah, we're a little bit away from these books, but not too far. Ooh. And these enemies are getting tougher. Oh, Christ. Yep, gotta do the King's Bible. There you go. Suck it. All right, King Bible level seven. That looks pretty good. I was hoping to find myself a red gem so we could just sort of level up. Not seeing it. But we're gonna use this to maybe plow our way through a little bit. There's a book over here I really wanna get my hands on. I hear it's required reading. Ugh. So close. Also, if a chest would show up anytime soon, that would be nice. A uh, whip, hollow heart spell, whip. Oh, there's that book over there. Now, normally, you can only have, well, see the way we've got six weapons and six of these things, but if you find stuff on the ground, well, you can pick it up, you can get it, and now we've got seven. So on some of the levels, there's you can go beyond the six six thing to like eight eight or stuff like that. There's some crazy stuff you can do. And um, combined with some other junk you can get around to, but we're not going to be worried about that just now. We're gonna try and kill this boss so that we can get their chest. We want their chest. Come here, witchy, witchy, witchy. Oh! Damn it, Pentagram. You just killed them and the chest. Well, that's no fair. Hey, there's a chest. Cool. And great. That levels up. That evolves the wand to fires with no delay. Perfect. That should give us an awful lot more firepower. Should make going this direction a little bit simpler. Damn it, I think I gotta go with Crown. I kinda wanna level up Pentagram a bit more, but... I think we'll survive long enough to get Pentagram to level 7. For now, I just wanna try and get a few more levels into us. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, there goes all of that experience we were hoping to gain. Ah, yeah, great. It's another boss. And that right there. That should be another weapon level up. Hey, it's a triple! Ah, nice. I evolved, the fire wand has been evolved. Uh, what else has we got? And then we got an upgrade to our knife and candle or whatever, whatever. Perfect. Our killing should be much faster. We now fire basically meteors out of ourselves. Perfect. And there's the second book. We shall get that. Uh, pentagram, oh, Bible level eight. Yes, please. That means we can now max that out. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna start pumping pentagram. Let's do it. It's gonna cost us a bunch of XP because, well, it destroys all the gems. But we gotta pump that at some point, and I think now's the time. That was just teasing. Don't give me an attractor orb, like the first one I've ever seen, and then immediately destroy it with pentagram. That's just mean. Ugh. Randy, if always finds a way to mess you up, even if it's in a completely different game. Okay. Doesn't matter. What we're trying to do is head all the way to the right now because there's a stone mask over there. We may not get there in time. It's going to take forever. Oh, chest. Perfect. That maxes out the King Bible. So we now have Unholy Vespers. Or whatever the hell that is. Basically, the King's Bible now rotates with those weird pages around us and it does a lot of damage. It's awesome. Combined with everything else, we're doing pretty good. I remember the Meteor Fireballs being a lot cooler. I think maybe I had better upgrades at the time. Oh well. Let's keep heading right as far and as fast as we can. What is that? Gold Fever? Oh, great. I think... Okay, Gold Fever, I think, is when you kill stuff. It gives you, uh, money now when Gold Fever is on. That is great, because we would like cash. Empty Tome, Candelabra, or Knife. Uh... 
supposed to keep leveling up the weapons. The more weapons we get, the better. Oh, it's still fever better tonight. Yes, it is. Oh, well. At least they gave us some gold. Oh, good job, Pentagram. It actually left us some stuff to pick up afterwards. Oh, great. It leveled up Pentagram, which I think is going to activate again. Yeah, and kill a whole bunch more stuff. Well, that's fine. Uh, Pentagram level 7? Yeah, why not? Oh my god, this stone mask is miles away. Alright, let's just keep on trucking. Uh, Pentagram's level 7, let's make that level 8. Sooner, they're out of the nether. That's 7. One more level on Pentagram and we can finally uh, turn it into its evolved version. Oh, we've been chased by a witchy boss. Uh, that's actually fine. I kind of want her here. Ah, yes. Pentagram level 8. Nice. Now all we need to do is get a chest out of this witch, and that should upgrade Pentagram, which I think stops it from killing everything horrifically, uh, generates extra gems, and gathers all of them. Much better. Oh, and it gives you a timer letting you know when it's going to go off. And yoink, gathers all the gems together. That is beautiful. Excellent. I think we've maxed out everything except the whip now, haven't we? Yeah, empty tome. All cooldowns are reduced. In fact, we'll reduce the cooldown on pentagram. And... Yeah, let me max out whip someone. Uh, crown, spellbinder, or bracer. I don't think it matters. Whip. Yes, please. Uh, bracer. Empty tome. All cooldowns. Yes. Basically, knife or whip is all we care about now. Knife. Uh, whatever. Whip. Whip. I think we're going to be maxed out very shortly, which is good because we're on like the 25 minute mark. We have been rather slow. Uh, we still have a couple of things to go though. What is it? Yeah, there's a mask and a question mark over this direction we need to get around to. Hello, witchy lady. Oh. I can hear that thing revving up again. Okay, whip level 8. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Just perfect. Now, can we get one more level on that knife? Oh, damn it. I would like to get one more level on the knife before I pick up that chest. Just in case. So, no, we're running out of time. We'll grab this now. That should give us the maxed out whip. That is perfect. That is another achievement obtained. And I think so long as we max out the knife as well, that'll give us six maxed out weapons, which is another achievement. Yeah, this is actually turning out to be a run where we're going to knock out a bunch of those things we were trying to knock out. We just need to make it to the stone mask and that question mark. And we have three minutes to do so. Let's go. And pentagrammed. Pentagram's pretty good when you get it up this high. Okay, knife. Level 9. Perfect. All we need now is a chest. Or level 8. All we need is a chest and we can max that out and then we're pretty much golden. Yeah, you guys are not going to break through this, are you? Uh, still not at the stone mask. Okay, what do we got left? I don't think any of this really matters anymore. All this speeds up by 10%. Uh... Candelabrador, Crown. Come on, come on, keep going. We've only got a few minutes left before death comes, claim us, so we need to keep moving as far to the right as we can. Still closer, closer and closer to that stone mask. And yum, 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 yum. Okay, Spellbinder affects less 10% longer, yep. Yeah. There's the stone mask. Uh, crown? Yeah, XP gain. Spellbinder? Sure. And there is the stone mask found underground. Characters earn 10% more gold coins. We shall get. Thank you. Now, where's this last thing? There's a question mark over here and we've got a little bit of time to go grab it. Though I would really prefer if a chest showed up at some point. Oh, 
but yeah, none of this really matters, does it? Chest! Uh, hollow heart, bracer, stone mask. The reason we want the chest should level up our last weapon, knives. Yep, thousand edges. That means we've hit, ev we've got six evolved weapons, which means we've knocked out another achievement. Perfect. Stone mask gives us more gold coins for stuff. More stone mask, more stone mask. Uh, then the rest of this is just whatever's going. Hollow heart. And we are not quite to the end of the map yet. My god. I can't tell if the things are dying fast enough anymore. One second, let's go to options and we will turn off the damage numbers just for now. Uh, BFX flashing? Yes. Weapon screen shake? Yeah, we'll get rid of that too. Huh. This might actually be more viewable for people as opposed to being a constant bombardment of shocks and colors. Don't be wrong, it still looks cool. But it does make it a little bit more clever. There, look, right there on the right, you can see that coffin. I'm pretty sure that's what we've been coming for. Ooh, floor chicken or bag of coins? Bag of coins, please. Bag of coins. 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 Why can I not open the chest? Thank you, Arca Londona, but the vampire is in another coffin. What? Giovanni Grana joins the survivors. Are you sure it's not Giovanni or Giorgio? Uh, never mind. Okay, I think that's everything on the map collected. Now we simply await death and a bunch of achievements. Plus it gets you about 500 gold if you make it all the way to the end. So this was the point I had about uh, that crown thing. Crown basically increases your experience gain by 8%, 8 or a bunch. Well, once you max out, I think it's about 50%, something, whatever. Uh, once you've hit maxed out weapons and maxed out everything else, that experience gain just means, well, that your enemies get tougher and tougher and tougher. There are certain builds, like certain characters get bonuses when they get higher levels themselves, and that can work out. But with these low-level characters, we're using normally all their bonuses max out around level 50 or 60 or something like that. So we're not getting any extra, anything extra from leveling up. All that we're getting is those gold coins, but it makes the enemies around us harder. Which is why I normally don't bother with crown, and the only reason I got it this time around... Pentagram. We needed it for pentagram. Uh, what's the timing on pentagram? Is it going to hit just as death shows up? That would be awkward. No, I don't think so. Oh, here comes death! Oh, give us the gold, give us the gold! And then we died. Didn't matter, you still get 500 bonus coins so long as death comes through. And if you get a revive, you can come back to life so death can kill you again and you get an extra 100 bonus points. Perfect! Got 11 achievements. Defeat a total of 10... Yeah, we defeated a bunch of enemies. Find it, open the coffin in the inlaid library. Done. Uh, find a stone mask. Done. <laughs> Uh, that unlocks the stone mask thing. Unlocks Christina by getting pentagram to level 7. Perfect. Unlocks Torona's box. Holds six different weapon evolutions at once. Yes. Fill 50 entries in the collection. Didn't know that was a thing. Uh, evolve the whip. Obtain 500 gold coins. I think all the rest are evolutions. Yep. Yeah, evolve the knives. We hadn't evolved those either. Uh, evolve the king bible. Hadn't done that. That's an extra 500 gold. Then evolve the fire wand. And finally, what was the last one? Evolves. Ah, pentagram. Done. That gave us a ton of cash. Which was the most gorgeous moon did the most damage at 4.3 million? Realistically, most of that was done at the end against the toughest monsters. It really does a lot of damage. Unholy Vespers was basically doing a lot of the damage there. That Bible thing, the, the King Bible did most of the killing for us. Yeah. Holy Wand, actually. Look at that. 987,000 damage. And we had that for a long time, so it was consistently keeping us alive. That's a good starter weapon. It's kind of like garlic. It keeps you alive early on and allows you to farm it decently. I feel a bit silly here. I probably should be grabbing this. This is pretty much essential for, well, doing anything. Uh, oh, first we should probably figure out which character we're going to be using next. Uh, can't use them. Oh, fine. 
I kind of want to use each... Oh, no, this one. If we uh, level this one up to... I think they have to survive 15 or 20 minutes. We unlock the cat as... And we kind of have to do that at some point. So, fine, we will buy them. Mm, that hurts. But power-up-wise... Growth, basically. I think we need as much of this as we can possibly afford because this will allow us to level faster, which means we're less likely to die. Oh, it's a good sign. A little bit of weapon cooldown never hurt anyone, and then maybe throw a little bit more might on top of that for damage. Why not? I think... I think we're just gonna stick with the same level. Thing is, we still suck at this level, and I'd like to unlock a few more things before we come back to it. Uh, namely because getting all the way to the end, and even the amount of gold you get, it just... it doesn't seem worthwhile. What we need to do is get hyper on three stages, and that will unlock... I think it's this one, it's called the Bone Zone. And uh, this is where you get your mo the most money. Thing is, we need to be able to reliably crack the mad for us, so I think we'll just do this one. Alright, uh, what's your weapon? Wow. Your... I... It's a cat. Your weapon is a... Oh my god, she's a cat lady. Fine, we'll grab garlic. Garlic should at least allow us to farm a little bit early on. What are the cats doing? Oh, come on, seriously? Just do some attacking or anything at all. Like, is that all the cats do? Just wander around and be weird? <laughs> okay, well, I'm just gonna garlic this up. We'll worry about the cats later. And this time around, we're gonna try and just max out garlic as quickly as possible. Ooh, lightning ring. Damn it, stop getting... No, I, I have to get distracted, don't I? Yeah, I'm gonna go with lightning ring. I mean, garlic and lightning ring. Oh, yeah. I wonder what actually levels up the cats. I'm gonna have to look that up in a bit. And did that cat just hurt me? Wait, your own cats can hurt you? That feels... That feels bad. Yep, yep, my own cat just hit me. Right, so she's not a cat lady, it's just cats follow her around, maybe? A Bible. Hmm, you know what? Why not? Bible's always a good one, and we're not actually trying to level up a bunch of weapons this time around. All we're trying to do is get this one far enough into the game. Garlic and Bible are excellent for farming this area on. Well, garlic really good, and Bible not so bad. Uh, I'm still gonna leave that gatty armor with the cat thing for a while. I have no intention of leveling those up, they seem kinda terrible. In fact, it might actually be more detrimental to our health to level them up. Eh, Santa water. Why not? We'll go with a... a similar build to one we did the last time. Or, the first time we finished this level? All we're really trying to do is, I'm just gonna pound through this as quick as I can, unless something weird crops up. Namely because we just want to finish this out. One weird thing that's happening is we keep getting, like, cats. Oh, what? And I just noticed there's cats falling in the background, not gems. That's a nice little touch. All right, we'll take the... We'll take some more cats. I'm holding out for Fire One because we've gotten spinach, but uh, by and large, this run is going pretty standard, except for the fact that we can't get any levels in garlic. We've got a few in Bible, and I'd like to max that out, but unfortunately, we haven't been able to do that because... Well, we're just not hitting the things we want. Oh, sometimes the cats do this weird, like, ball of claws, and then anything that ends up going into it takes enormous damage. It's great for killing a bunch of stuff, it's just it's very random when it will actually happen. Oop. Yeah, that's... Hmm. You know what? I think we're going the wrong direction. If we get the stone mask, it pairs up with the cat thing to make a... Whatever, the evolved version of it is. So I think we're going to start heading that direction. I was going to go get the other one, but I think... Nah, we're, we're playing a bit weak this round. So let's uh, take this safe way. Ooh, cross. Do we want it? Well, I don't think we've maxed out cross yet, and cross pairs up with clover, and we don't have clover. But yeah, we'll give it a go. Why not? If we could max out cross, that would be another thing knocked off the list. Ooh. I saw the Bibles come out and I'm like, yep, let's immediately just dive straight into that because the Bibles are the only thing that are going to save us from this. Ooh. Yeah, give me more Bibles right about now. Here you go. Ooh. Exit. Duplicator pairs with lightning rings, so... Yes? That means all we're missing is Clover at this point. Eh. Right. Right now, all that's keeping us alive is really the Bible. Those cats, I'm not sure what they're doing half the time. But we now have level 8 cats. Just, just amazing. One thing I'm getting annoyed by is the cats just keep scrubbing my character. And I can never keep my health up. I'm constantly at half health. 
But we finally leveled out one weapon 13 minutes in, which took forever. I also couldn't get my hands on Clover, so we got stuck with Spellbinder. Uh, but eh, we're fine. We've maxed out one weapon. Uh, we can get the cat weapon leveled out as well, though I'm not sure how useful that's going to be. Ooh. Oh, and garlic. We can finally max that out too. That'll give us a bit of healing, which I'm hoping will counteract all the cat scrubbings. And we're about to go pick up the stone mask, which should allow us to level out the cats as well. I'm wondering what the cats will look like when they get maxed out. That should be interesting, hopefully. Ah, spinach. Yes, yes please. Or actually no, Santa water. I want to get all of our weapons maxed out as quickly as possible. And there's the stone mask. Perfect. Now that we've got that, well, there's nothing left to do. Let's just uh, hang around here, I suppose, and get as many gems as we possibly can. Duplicator level two? Yes. Ah, chest. Finally. 15 minutes. What do we get? Is that the garlic one? Uh, vicious hunger. Evolved. Okay. Might turn anything into gold. Huh. What, what does that mean? Does that mean the cats are just going to start randomly turning bad guys into gold? That would be cool. Uh, lightning ring? Yes, please. Lightning ring? Yes, please. Santa water. Uh, I take it those weird smoky things going about the map are the cats gone nuts. What are they doing? Uh, that is weird. Okay. I'm not seeing them turning stuff randomly into gold, but I'm not going to care about it. Eh, for our next level up, it's the Soul Eater. I'm thinking this one, this run is pretty much, well, one, we're halfway through it, but we got most of the good stuff. Like, we've got the Bibles maxed out, we've got Garlic maxed out, so that's healing and pushback. Eh, Damage-wise, though, we might be a little low. That could be problematic. Oh well, we'll see what we can do. So right now, we have the Garlic, which is the black circle around us. That's knockback. Uh, we also have the Bible spinning around us, that is also knocked back. Uh, then we have the lightning hitting things, that's also got knocked back. And we have the Santa water that's going around hitting things, that's also got knocked back. So basically just lots and lots of knockback. Uh, Santa water has yeah, evolved Santa water, damaging zones follow you and grow when they move, uh, whatever. So yeah, I think we're good for a while longer, 21 minutes in. I don't know if we have enough damage to actually last all the way to the end, but I'm pretty sure we do, do we? Yeah, the only thing left is the cross, but we can't evolve that, I didn't get the clover. So, yeah, I think we're good to just sort of stand here and kill everything. Oh look, it's a witch! Uh, I had burner, but I don't have a fire wand. So the witch is just gonna sort of stand there on the edge of our pushback radius and not get any closer. That's kind of gotta be embarrassing for a boss. It's why it's one of the reasons why the library is so much fun to play in. Well, you just, it's much easier to survive considering you have two directions to come from and the mobs are just... It's easier to level up off them. It's weird the way the second level is easier than the first level. I, I I don't know why. We are almost 27 minutes in and we've maxed out everything. Well, we haven't actually maxed out the cross. That's unfortunate. Really wish I'd held out and got my hands on that uh, ah, clover so that we can max that. But it's fine. It's fine. We'll just stay here, wait until death's about to show up and then grab the attractor orb so we can grab as much money as we possibly can. I think is we don't want to grab it now because, well, we want to wait until more and more gems accumulate. And so long as we don't level up, the, all the monsters will remain a lower level, which means when we finally do collect it, we should be able to get more because we've killed more monsters in the meantime. But wow, these things are not dying nearly as fast as I was hoping they would. Well, things are looking... interesting. They're getting really close. I think we'll wait till 29.45 and then we'll grab that attractor orb down the bottom. Ooh, and that chest as well. Uh, yeah, we got about another 15 seconds more. We'll go for the orb in the chest. Uh, that's... we should survive. Oh, they are getting way too close, though. You can tell because we're leveling up. We should not be leveling up. Ooh. Yeah, that's gonna... Like, every level we go up, it just actually makes it a little bit harder to kill them. I have 44, 45... Let's go! Uh, coin bag. Treasure chest. Grand. Yeah, it's just gonna give us coins. Done! Coin bag. Coin bag. Coin bag. And there we go. Lots and lots of cash. And that worked out real good. 
Uh, Death will be along shortly to claim us, though, and I think that worked out fine. Let's see how many achievements we managed to knock out in this one. Uh, yeah, and Death absolutely stomps us. Done. Okay, survive 15 minutes with Giovanni. Fine. Evolve the Gatia. Yeah, Grant. Okay, so we got two things done. Oh, man. I spent those 30 minutes maybe a little bit inefficiently. I love how little damage the cats did. They did bugger all. Vicious Hunger did 2.5 million damage, and they did generate a fair bit of coins. I was noticing it there, like, it was going up constantly, just consistently going up. So, not the worst thing in the world, but uh, I don't think it's really a money-making scheme. So, I maybe continued on and did a whole extra run, and then realized my video was going to be, you know, almost an hour and a half long, so uh, I've cut out that last one. Uh, and decided to go back in time a little bit. Next run is going to be in the forest, or wait, it already has been done, but it will be shown in the future. And it turns out that might thing that you can buy in the power-ups that gives you more experience, that makes it easier for you to level up, yes. That is, is crucially important for the forest, it seems. Well, at least for someone of my skill level, because it made things, if not easier, at least it made it more manageable where you could level up fast enough. Also, it turns out making a lot of content for this is, well, it's a lot easier than making RimWorld content, let's just say. It's, it's a little bit more relaxed, easy going. So yeah, I definitely think I can get an extra video of this. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Good luck.